in middle school went under lockdown earlier this afternoon after an anonymous threat had been made. Our Haley Lanham spoke with officials about this incident. Just after 12 p.m. on September 5th of 2024 at Jackson Middle School, an anonymous threat came through on a student app called the CSEND app that allows officials to be alerted if something is wrong. So I think it was multifaceted. It came through our central 911 system. Um, it was also going through the school system as well where the principal was notified um, and then relayed to me uh, the resource officer who's in the school. As a school resource officer, Sergeant Anthony Harris had the first instinct to keep all students safe, to make sure that they are safe and out of harm's way while officials gather all the information possible. To lessen the possibility of threats, it is important to inform children about the consequences of words in today's society. I'd say as adults in general, um, we just need to inform our kids of our words. You know, it's they do have consequences. so. Whether it's uh, rumors or whether it's real talk, we need to just inform our kids that, you know, we, the words we say affect others and affect our day-to-day -day lives, so uh, everything's taken serious now. There are many ways that students can report things, but in this case, the CSEND app was utilized to inform officials. We have an app called the CSEND app, and this allows them to, in an anonymous manner, uh, send information to the Fusion Center in Charleston that then communicates with local law enforcement um, about a possible threat. For parents, it is important to keep your contact information up to date in order to be informed if the school would need to reach out about school-related things. But what we need parents to do is to make sure that their contact information is updated in the local school office. We usually do that at the beginning of the school year, um, but if your information is missing, we don't have a way to quickly and easily get that information out to you. More on anonymous tools and tips can be found on our website at WTAP.com. In Vienna, I'm Haley Lanham for WTAP News.